Hello everybody! I am going to show you my favorite base face makeup products. So I'm going to first put on this aqua eye cream. So this has hyaluronic acid on it. In it, it's super important that you have hyaluronic acid in your skincare, as it is going to help add in moisture. It's going to lock in moisture. It's going to plump up your skin. So that's why I'm using a hyaluronic acid eye cream prior to doing my makeup because this is going to soak in lock in moisture and help plump up my eye area and then whatever's left over on my finger i'll just rub over my my forehead i also have i think you can get like hyaluronic um supplements actually at a health food store but um i just have it in my collagen so the collagen that i take every day has hyaluronic acid in it so what we're gonna do so i've got that on there just pat it to make sure it's nice and dry i'm gonna go in with a silicone primer so this is a camera ready um like face perfecting primer it's silicone and it's going to keep your makeup from sinking in to your fine lines your pores all that now a little disclaimer not that this matters but i really shouldn't even be doing my makeup right now because we're going to the beach <laughs> whenever my toddler wakes up from her nap, but I was just, I love playing a makeup. I don't feel like I've been playing in it enough lately. So it's like the best therapy I think for me. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing with my hair, but again, we're going to the beach. I've been working out today, housework. It's just been busy, um, but I still wanna play makeup. So now my primer is in, and you guys, that primer specifically feels like silk. It feels like so good. Now, what I'm going to use to apply my foundation with is a beauty sponge. This is just any beauty blender you can grab, and I'm going to use a camera ready foundation. So this is going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of going to reflect light away from your face, give you that photo filter finish. It's going to offer a blurring effect, and this is my absolute favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put two pumps on here, or like a pump and a half. And I use a beauty sponge and just an FYI this is a burn you can probably see it's like a little crusty because it's been a while since I put my calendula balsam on it <laughs> um that's what I get for curling my hair right <laughs> okay so I like to dab mine out you can apply your foundation several different ways depending on the look that you are wanting to get right so if you want more of a full coverage you can use a flat foundation brush you can use, if you have really textured skin or aging skin, you can use a kabuki brush. That way you're more so buffing over all of those areas versus dabbing into them, you know, pushing in them. And as you can tell, I don't, I don't push and pull my product around. I dab it around because this is going to give you not only a really sheer coverage with using a damp sponge, but by dabbing this around, you are getting a more skin-like finish and that's what I prefer. I love my makeup to look really natural. So sometimes it might feel like it takes an, a little bit of extra time except when you get to your neck you can obviously pull that down. But for me I feel like it's okay and again makeup's kind of like a therapy to me so I definitely don't mind. Let me get my lighting. There we go. You guys can see me better and you want to see what I'm doing, right? Just like that, okay? I don't know how well you can see my pore area, but it looks so, so good compared to what it used to look like. And I'm telling you, this that primer makes a world of a difference. I will never do any makeup without putting on a primer ever okay so base face what we're gonna do next we're gonna go in with a plumping concealer right we're getting like all the plumping abilities because we have on that hyaluronic acid plumping eye cream and now we're gonna go in with an indian seed plant extract liquid concealer and that little indian seed plant extract that's in here is made to plump up your under eye area so we're gonna do just that And then I'm going to use, there's a couple different ways you can do this. We, I have a 
concealer. This is actually a concealer buffer brush you can use. I have eyeshadow on mine right now. Um, my favorite way to do this is just to keep it handy and use the tip of my pointed beauty sponge. And just dab it out. Again, we're not pushing, we're not gonna press down and pull around. We are just dabbing this out. So we don't wanna pull our foundation all around either. And I also wanna share with you guys that it's only our $10 join special has been extended through October 5th, which is this Wednesday. So if you are wanting or needing to get your products for half off, this is the perfect time to do it. Or if you're needing extra holiday money, I can help you. I'm a very hands-on mentor and I am ready to work with people who want to work. There's nothing that, you know, I mean, who doesn't feel good helping others? I, it's like my favorite thing ever. But if you also just are like, I want really good products and I need a discount, you get 50% off here. And right now it's only $10 to join. Okay, enough about that. Let's keep it base face. We're gonna go in with this creamy contour and this intimidates a lot of people right because of how thick it is but you don't have to press on with the thick end and i'm going to show you you can press on with the thin area just the side of it kind of tilt it to the side press it on like that all these little hairs i got my hair done this past wednesday i haven't washed it since that's kind of also why it's pulled up some i threw some dry shampoo on. i just used the very end of my pharmacy dry shampoo and <laughs> need to get some more now but i don't like washing my hair right away after getting it colored anyways um, i probably took it to the extreme but i also don't wash my hair every day on a regular basis okay so now this is the kabuki brush that i was talking about if you had textured skin and wanted to apply your foundation that way but i like to use my kabuki brush for blending out my contour stick this is a super 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 creamy contour stick See how easy that is? Okay, now let's take this and just kind of, I like to, whenever I'm going upwards, I just go in circular motions. I feel like I get it a little bit better. Blend, blend, blend. Look how easy that was. And depending on the desired look that you want is really going to depend on how much you are going to to blend. Excuse all my baby hairs. <laughs> okay. And then you never want to forget to blend down here, right? <laughs> That's the last thing that we want. Have our whole face of makeup done and then have this big old <laughs> chunk of contour on our neck. And I just like to blend it down just so everything, I like my makeup to just kind of blend. You know, I don't want any harsh lines. I just want everything to blend and kind of flow. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to use a Peach Bite palette. Just like this. It's $20. You can do a full face with it. I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzer and just go right over top of my contour stick. You don't have to do this, okay? You can do you can do one or the other, contour or a bronzer. But I started doing both of these the beginning of this year and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed." <laughs> Mainly because I haven't I didn't grow up doing my makeup and once I learned how to do it a few years ago, that's really I only did like one thing. Everything was always super super basic. Um, so pretty much the beginning of this year, I was like, I just want to be different. I just want to learn some new things. <laughs> so that's what I do. I just like to play. Like I said, it's very therapeutic. I always blend it down my neck. So we don't want any crazy harsh lines, right? I like stuff to look very natural. And I am going to put on a blush for you. So the blush that I'm going to use just to kind of keep this a little on the softer side is this peach blush, right? Comes right in this Peach Bite palette. I'm gonna swirl that in there. This is a really fun palette if you are someone who 
one, let's say you're just always in a hurry to do your makeup, but you still want makeup on, right? This can be a face palette and an eye palette. I've done this for this eyeshadow before and it looks so pretty. Um, you can also, this would be great for like if you're just busy in the mornings, right? Or you work from home and you've got a last minute Zoom meeting pop up, you can throw this on really quick. If you are not really into a whole lot of makeup, but you know that you want some on, this is a really fun palette because obviously the colors are just a lot softer. That shimmer is gorgeous. There's a lot of things you can do with that. Or if you just, you have a teen daughter who is playing in makeup now, um, or any age really, no judgment. That's a fun palette for her. Okay, so what we're going to do to give ourselves an airbrush finish, we're going to take a transparent powder, just like this, and I'm going to take a fluffy airbrush. And just very lightly dab over. This isn't always something that I have used and I don't use it all the time because I do have more normal to dry skin and I've always felt like powders dry you out but so many of my teammates were telling me how this transparent powder makes them look airbrushed when they're done so now I use it sometimes. Okay so you guys that is it for my base face and this is also going to keep your makeup in place all day long. I know I was in um, a leadership summit in Miami over the summer in June, so it's insanely hot. And I had forgotten to take my Time Locker finishing spray, right, that holds it in all day. This is all that I had, and I had zero issues. And I was doing my makeup at like seven in the morning and not washing it off until almost midnight. And it was all still on. I still had a full face of makeup thanks to that stuff. So I was very, very impressed with it. Um, and that's all that I have for my base face. So I'm actually planning a live to go do my eyeshadow and I will come back on here to show you. Okay, you guys, this is my finished look. So I did my base face with you. I put on brow mascara, which is a $13 brow mascara. I did put on an eyeshadow primer as well, 11 bucks. And then I used three liquid eyeshadows. I used Hawaiian bronze, which is this one right here. I put a swipe of it right here. I put a swipe of gold reflection in the middle and a swipe of joker right on the inner corner. I took a fluffy eyeshadow brush and brushed out just like this. You can go see the tutorial on my live Facebook. You can watch the replay of it over there if you want. And then I used my double lash extend mascara and I used my favorite lip gloss, which is a limited edition. And that's it. If you guys are interested in ordering, head to my website. It is www.pharmacyus.com backslash Katie Jenkins. And I'll put it right here so you guys can see. And it's also in the description of this video. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday.